So today we've got an open foot pintail that we're going to go ahead and paint up. And we're just going to use pastels for everything that we're doing. I'm going to start off with brown. Then we're going to do a little black. And then I'll do gray over the rest of the foot and we'll clear coat it. And then you'll see your colors pop. We're going to do two different layers. First layer is going to be our base coat. The second we'll go through with black, do our webbing, do some of the scale detail, do our little black notches over the um, bends in the toes. Uh, you can airbrush these if you want. It'll take paint either way. But for those who just want a simple method, this is the best way to go. I believe this is raw umber for the brown. And I'm just using a somewhat lighter brush. You'll notice that when you use pastels, you can get a bunch of different applicators. You've got a softer brush. Um, I'll show you some of the sponges, some of the small detail brushes. And a lot of it just depends on the application you're trying to do with these. So for this, I just wanted a nice general coat, nothing too thick. And so I'll use my lighter brush for this. And I'm just going to do brown over the whole thing. I'm not concerned with getting brown on the nails or any of the webbing because we'll do black on that on our second coat. So we've got brown over the foot. Then we're going to go in with some black and I'm just barely putting any on my brush. I'm not going heavy with this or you will go too dark. And I'm just going to very lightly brush to get scale detail on this foot. And you can see I'm I'm not doing a lot of black here. So just be careful. Okay, so I've got my black and you can see we added some depth. And for a pintail, that to me is a little dark. So we're going to take some gray to lighten it up a little bit. And it's going to look like you just canceled out all the work you did. But when we hit it with the clear coat, you'll notice that everything just pops. When I'm working with darker colors, browns, blacks, grays, I'm okay using the same brush um, to somewhat mix colors. But if you're going to start using reds, oranges, yellows, you want to make sure that you use a different brush. Because if any dark colors get into that brush with your oranges and yellows, it's going to really throw off the look you're going for. So you can see it, it lightened that foot up a little bit. And our detail looks like it's gone, but we'll hit it with a clear coat now. And there's a bunch of different clear coats you can use. I'm just using Rust-Oleum Clear Matte. Don't use anything with gloss or satin or your foot will be too shiny. This works good. Or you can use from Hobby Lobby Clear Acrylic Coating. Make sure it's in matte. Um, both are good. Um, you can also get Krylon um, Crystal Clear and Matte, which is really good. I didn't have any on hand for today's video. So we're going to go ahead and clear coat this real quick and you can see the difference. And we're not going to go really heavy, but don't go too light either. So now you can see Some of the scale detail that comes out with those first layers of brown and black that we did. So once this dries, 
I give it a few minutes. Then we'll come back and we're going to take an applicator sponge and do some of our scale detail um, over the knuckles on the toes. And then we'll just highlight a few areas um, with black to give us more depth and detail. And we'll also do the webbing on this. Okay, our pintail foot, we've had time to dry the clear coat. So now we're going to go back and do a little scale detail with black, get our toenails painted, get the webbing painted, and then we'll clear coat it one more time and we'll be done. So all we're doing is working with a black pan pastel today. I've got a sponge applicator. You can get these at Hobby Lobby. They're really cheap, but they go a long way for really helping to paste pastels on versus just trying to brush it on. So I'm going to start with the sponge applicator and we're going to go ahead and highlight the knuckles there. And I'm just going really light. I don't want to be too heavy on this part. So we got that. I might do a little bit up here on the, the knob. You don't have to. And I'm going to use the same applicator to come through and do the webbing on this. And these are small enough and they paste well enough that it helps you control your lines for the webbing. I used to always struggle with an airbrush because I could never get my lines really clean and crisp like you'd see on a natural bird. So we're just going to use a sponge to take care of this webbing area. And we'll go ahead and do it on the back after I get this side done. And the black seems to uh, take to the feet a little bit better after you've done a clear coat layer. It works good before clear coat as well. And so you could honestly probably do this whole process with just one layer if you um, applied colors in a different order compared to what I did today. So there's our webbing done and highlighting the knuckles. And while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and just get our toenails painted. You can see these sponges really help. A little bit of paint go a long way on these. It gives you a lot of control. So we'll flip over to the back. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. And for a larger area like this, I might grab one of the larger sponges so it doesn't take me as long. But I didn't have one ready, so we're just going to roll with this. And you could airbrush this too. It'd be probably a little bit faster in the back. And I'm not going to totally black these toes out on the back. I want to leave a little bit of gray and some brown showing. And then don't forget the dew claw. And then just a little bit of paint on your sponge. And we're going to go up this back lightly. We don't want to go too heavy. So now. That's where we're at. I'm going to blend in my notches right there on the knuckles into the webbing a little bit so the lines aren't so obvious. Now the last part we're going to do is I've got a soft bristle brush here. Nothing coarse. And we're just going to highlight scales. Very, very little paint on your brush.
when you're doing this, it might not seem like it's making a big difference, but when we clear coat it the second time, you'll notice the little bit of paint you put on there will go a long ways. So there's our foot. We've done our scale detail. Got our pads done. We're going to do our last layer of clear coat, and we'll be done. We'll get good pictures of these after we finish the video so you can see the detail on these.